Hello everyone, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials and in this video, which we've called Everything You Wanted to Know About Layers in GIMP But We're Afraid to Ask, also known as Layers, Layers and Damn Layers, we look at, guess what, the whole issue of layers. Both Davina and I have come across several people who have tried to use GIMP or some such photo editing program in the past. And many of these people have told us that they don't understand the concept of layers. They don't know how they're used and in fact this has put them off using the program. So in this video I'm going to try and simplify layers and take the mystery out of it. Now on the desktop I've got a picture of a sandwich and on the bottom layer there's bread that's followed by mayonnaise. The next layer is some nice thick juicy ham and that's followed by tomatoes and lettuce and another slice of bread, some crispy bacon I can spot there and some fresh lettuce and it's finally topped off with another slice of bread. Actually I think it's toast because it's a club sandwich. And all of those layers of ingredients make up the whole. And that's actually what layers are like in the software editing program. The images are made up of various layers. So let's go and get rid of that and come back to the GIMP interface. Uh, I'm trying to explain this a little bit further. On the screen now we have a shiny button. We like shiny buttons. And over on the right hand side, here's the hierarchy, if you like, of layers. We've got the background layer at the bottom. Next up is the black. This is this black layer. And on top of that, we've superimposed the green. Then we've put the text. And finally, we've got the transparent layer. That's this bit here. And each time we actually want to create a new feature to the button, we have to create a new layer. Create a new layer. Okay, and that goes to the top. And an um, example of that could be if we wanted to say create a drop shadow on the press me text then we'd create a new layer and then we'd start adding text to that layer. And each time we want to change something on the image we have to select the uh, layer of the feature we want to change and carry out an action on that layer. And in fact this is no different to say highlighting some text in Microsoft Word. If you want to uh, bolden some text, first of all you have to highlight it, you have to select it and then you uh, carry out the action of bolding it. In fact for many of us when we get used to the concept it's it's very logical and it's actually really easy to use and it, it, it's very efficient to use as well. You can also rearrange the layers in your sandwich so to speak. Take this for example, the top layer is this transparent shiny bit. Well let's get rid of that for the moment we don't want that. That's at the top of the hierarchy with the text tucking in behind but if we highlight that top layer because we want to do something with it and then we go down here and we move it one step down you may it's not going to be hugely obvious this but just keep your eye on the text. If I press that it's now actually lying behind that top layer. Sorry it's, it's lying on top of that top layer. Can you see that? And so the press me text is now at the top of the sandwich and that's pretty much really how layers work. Um, that's really, in fact I'm going to just change that back. It, it's really um, all I wanted to explain about at this stage, the, the basic concept. But if I've confused you talking about um, club sandwiches then you know please do let us know and we'll try and clear that up. And in fact if you ever do have any questions or comments please please do come and uh, visit us on our fan page the address of which I'm now putting up on the screen. We usually have some lovely people dropping by and saying hello and having a cup of tea and a sandwich. So um, other than that that's that's all from me until we see you next time. Goodbye.